All right, folks. Now in this video, this actually, this is going to be a really, really, really important video that you definitely want to make sure that you follow every step in terms of setting this up. What is this? This is an autoresponder. Uh, guys, you know, also when you're building your business online, you know, one of the most important parts of your business on the internet is you want to be able to build a fan base. You want to be able to build a list. You hear that all the time, build a list. Well, to build a list online, you got to have an autoresponder, something that will allow you to be able to capture emails and also build that list of, of emails and not to mention to be able to follow up with those people automatically and even randomly whenever you want to. Um, that's been a huge part of our success and a lot of different things that we've done over the years. Uh, you know, cause we, we, we market a lot of different lead capture pages that are tied to an autoresponder. So when people are opting in into those app, those, those lead capture pages, we get a lot of names and emails. And over the years we've gotten, we've gotten tens of thousands of names and emails over the years. And so when we want to join something or do something or promote something, uh, all I have to do is just come to my autoresponder and send out a blast email. And the cool thing is that these people know who I am. So this is a very, very, very important part. One of the found the foundation parts of your of your online business is you've got to have an autoresponder something that you will have to build your list on or through and uh, and that's what we have here so what we're going to be talking about in this video I'm gonna show you how to set up your autoresponder um, for your MLSP account in terms of building your your list through the platform and also setting up an autoresponder for your primary business now with with the two videos that you're going to be watching in, in you know that, that I'm going to be talking about in regards to this one, we're going to be setting up uh, your autoresponder that we're actually going to be able to import a series of emails that have already been created through My Lead System Pro. And we're going to move them from My Lead System Pro into your brand new uh, uh, autoresponder account through Get Response. Matter of fact, you're going to be able to do this, guys, for free. Matter of fact, you're going to get free, free for 30 days. An autoresponder just to help you get started with no credit card required or anything like that. So it's actually a really cool service that that Get Response you know has. Now we're going to do that through MLSP and also I've also created some very generic emails that you can use for your primary business. So whatever company, product, service, whatever that you're marketing outside of MLSP, I've already created a series of emails that you can use to help promote those opportunities or products or services and we'll be able to move those emails over into this account as well so i'm going to show you how to set all this up now disclaimer you don't have to really understand a lot of what i'm about to show you you will eventually at, at, you know, as we continue with this week's you know with this training uh, course you're going to understand a lot of it later on but if you don't quite understand what we're doing i'm going to break it down where you can follow it but if you don't quite understand why you're doing this and why you're doing that, don't worry about it. Just do what I'm telling you to do and you'll be set. Okay. So just, just, I just wanted to put that disclaimer out there is that, so I don't want you to get overwhelmed. Just follow everything that I'm about to show you. It's nothing difficult. Just follow everything I'm about to show you and you'll be fine. So with that said, let's go ahead and get started. Now, Get Response is definitely one of the one of the auto responding services that I use. I actually use several. I have, I have lists in different different company accounts, and Get Response is a, is a, is one that I use as well. So I thought it would be perfect for this particular training. It has a really cool interface. Really helps people to understand how all this stuff works. So if you go to freefor30days.com, that's freefor30days.com, you can be able to set up your free auto responder for 30 days. Um, at no cost, just to you know, just to basically help you get started. Okay, so let me kind of give you an idea. So all you have to do is once you get to this website, guys, and again, if you want to pause this video and go ahead and kind of go through the process. Matter of fact, I recommend that you do. Just go ahead and pause, play, pause, play as we're going through this process. Uh, that way you can make sure you don't miss any steps in terms of the setup process. So let me say that again, you know, pause, play. So when I do a certain step, pause the video, then go ahead and actually do that step. Come back to the video, hit play and watch me do the next step. That's the easiest way to actually follow this process. And guess what guys, you, you won't go wrong doing it that way. Okay. So, so what you want to do at the bottom of the page, uh, you'll see where it says, try get response free for 30 days. Just click on that button and that'll take you where you can actually get your free trial. Uh, just to kind of give you a little insight of some of the different packages after your 30 days is up. Um, they have a thousand dollars, or excuse me, not thousand dollars, but a thousand subscribers where you can actually get, have up to a thousand names and emails in this particular package right here. It's like 15 bucks a month. 
Uh, their most popular package is this one right here where you can get up to 2,500 subscribers, people that have opted in, meaning basically what are subscribers? These are people that have opted in. Basically, they have given you their name and email because of some lead capture page that you've been promoting and they are now in your auto responding list, meaning that they're getting emails and you can also reach out to them at any time and you can send out bras you know, broadcast messages uh, to those individuals uh, just to be able to share your, you know, share your opportunity, your product, service, or what have you. And they got a lot of different, you know, so, you know, packages. So do what works best for you. And uh, and again, as you continue your journey through internet marketing, you'll find yourself scaling up more and more and more uh, because you'll be making money. You'll be building your list, building your following, building your brand. That's what it's all about. So, so again, free for 30 days.com, no credit card required. Just fill out the information. So if you want to pause the video here to go ahead and set that up, you can definitely go ahead and do that. But again, no credit card required. Go ahead and set that up because you're going to need to have this set up before we move any further. Okay. And again, guys, doesn't cost anything now. Just go ahead and do it. Follow my instructions and I'm going to show you how to really win online. Okay. So, uh, so by this time, hopefully if you already paused the video, or whatever, you should have everything already set up. So with that said, let me go ahead, let's go ahead and go to the next page, the next slide here. So what you should already be logged in. So if you set everything up, you should be on your, your, your home page, your, your back office, your dashboard page here in the back office of get response. Uh, and this, again, this is actually after you've already, you know, registered and you set everything up, this is your home page right here. Okay. You're going to see this information here. So what we want to do first guys, we definitely want, we want to create a campaign. Now the, the system automatically creates a campaign for you using, I think you're using your email address or whatever, a part of your email address, but we want to create a different one. So, cause plus you're going to want to know how to create different campaigns, you know, you know, why you have an autoresponder. So what you want to do in, in the top right hand corner. And again, guys, if you need to pause play, go ahead and do that. But in the top right hand corner, you're going to see that little field there. It says your current campaign. You want to click on that drop down. And then once you do that, you want to click on where it says create campaign. Okay. Just click on create campaign. Once you do that, it's going to bring you to this page right here where you're going to be able to create a campaign. And so what is a campaign? Basically it just, it's something that you see your, your, your people, your, uh, uh, prospects. This is something that they're not going to see. This is something for your own record. So you'll know, uh, what that campaign represents. So what we're trying to create now, we're, we're creating a campaign for our MLSP opt-ins. Basically people that, you know, with the different lead capture pages that MLSP has to offer, when they opt in, they're going to get a series of emails. Okay. For a certain period of time, you know, pretty much every, I think it's every other day or something like that. Uh, they're going to get, I think about 16 or 17 different emails. Well, what we want to do is create a campaign name for that. Okay. And remember, we're going to do one for your primary business opportunity as well, but we got to do this one first. Okay. Now, so what you want to do in terms of creating a campaign name, it can be whatever, uh, uh you can't have any spaces, no cat, no, uppercase letters, things of that nature. And you'll see that if you, if you do something wrong, it'll tell you, and it has to be something unique. The campaign has to be a campaign name that nobody else has. So if you're try trying to create a campaign and it says it's already taken, just keep trying one until you find one that hasn't been taken. So what I'm going to do, and again, you put it right there, create campaign name. So I'm going to create one. I'm going to call it my biz leads now. You know, it's, and again, it doesn't matter what it is. It's just something that I know my biz leads now is my, my campaign name. That's tied to my MLSP opt-ins that could, that are coming through my system. Okay. That's what that campaign represents, right? So that's all it is. And once I do that, you just hit create campaign. Once you do that, basically, boom, your campaign is done. That's it. Okay. Really, really simple. That wasn't hard. Was it? It's pretty simple, right? So you just create a name you know, go ahead and create it. Boom. You're done when it comes to creating the campaign name. Right. But next we got a few other things that we got to do. Now, what we want to do now is right there at the top, you see where it says messages. You got all your tabs right there at the top dashboard, context, etc. Click on messages. When you click on messages, it's going to bring down a drop down, you know, drop down field. And you're going to have several options right there. What you want to do 
is actually click on the one that says preload. Why preload? Is because we're about to preload some messages that have already been created. Some emails that have already been created. Remember I told you that MSP already has a series of emails? You don't have to create any right now. You can in the future if you want to, but you don't have to. They've already created some for you, okay? So what we're gonna do, we're gonna preload those messages that the company's already created and put them over into your Get Response account. So you click on preload, and when you click on preload, it's gonna bring you to this page right here, okay? Very, very simple. And again, if you need to pause and play, go ahead and pause and play, okay? Um, so on this section here, on this page, what we wanna do is, you see where it says change source account, okay? And again, don't worry about if you don't understand why we're doing certain things, just do what I'm doing and you'll, you'll see why in the end, okay? So click on, you know, click on where it says change source account. When you click on that, it's gonna change the page a little bit. It's gonna bring down, you know, a drop down field there. It's gonna give you some additional things there. What you wanna do next, once you click on, once you click on, once you have clicked on that, uh, you wanna click on right here where it says user account. What we wanna do when you click on that, it's gonna bring down another drop down field. You wanna click on the one that says campaign, right? When you click on the one that says campaign from there, in one second here, once you click on campaign, you want to actually also click on where it says include predefined fields. Okay. Uh, when you click on predefined fields, once you do that, you want to click on where it says campaign name. Okay. So let me back up just real quick, just to make sure that we got this under control here. Let me go back to the, to the beginning of that page. So right here, you want to click on where it says change source account. When you click on change source account, basically what it's doing is changing, you know, what you're trying, we're, we're, we're attempting to log in or connect our Get Response account to MLSP's Get Response account that has all the messages. So what we have to do is we're not trying to log into their account, we're trying to log into their campaign. We're trying to get that campaign. So that's why we click on here. And when that drop down comes down, we want to change it to campaign. We're not trying to get into the account we're trying to connect with the campaign that they've already created that has all those emails in it. So once we click campaign, it's gonna change it to campaign mode, like what it just did right now. Okay, now it's in campaign mode. Then you wanna click on include predefined fields. Very important, make sure you just click that. Just go ahead and click it, all right? Next, the campaign name. Well, what's the campaign that we're trying to find? What you want, the, the campaign name that we're looking for that has all those cool emails that we're gonna be using to get a lot of referrals and everything for our MLSP business as well is MLSP Leads, that's it. MLSP Leads, L-E-A-D-S. Just fill out that information right here in this field right there, okay? That's all you gotta put, MLSP Leads. Real simple, right? Once you put that there, you want to come up here to the right under where it says destination campaign. Make sure that you're on the campaign that you just created. Remember, I just created one, my biz leads now. Remember that earlier? That was a, that was a campaign that I just created. So I want to make sure that the, the email messages that I'm attempting to import from MLSP, I want to make sure that they import into that particular campaign. Okay? Cause I can have multiple campaigns. So I want to make sure I'm taking though that, that, you know, that list of messages and I'm putting it into the, my biz leads now campaign. Now, remember your campaign name can be different. This is mine. So your campaign name could be something, whatever it could be your name. It could be your company name. It could be whatever. Okay. It could be whatever you want to put it there. Something that, that can be connected to you in your business. Right? So just put that information there make sure you're on the right campaign. Now, once you do that, all you have to do is click on login. Don't worry about this field right here at the bottom. You can just leave that blank. Okay. Don't worry about that. One. Just leave that blank. Just make sure you got MLSP leads there in the campaign name. You know, make sure you're on the right destination campaign. Cause remember you're trying to move them over into that campaign that you just created. So all we have to do now is click on login. As soon as we click on login, you're going to get this little message right here. It's just a confirmation to make sure that, you're, you're doing everything correct. Just hit OK. When you click on OK, that's what happens. See these messages right here? What I just did, I just imported those messages from my Lead System Pro's Get Response account into my Get Response account now. Remember, I didn't even have to really create them. Here they are right here. Okay. So what I have to do now, 
right here, just have to click on where it says copy all. And when I click on copy all, it's going to bring all those messages over just like it did there. Okay. That's it. That's how you take somebody else's messages that they've already created and put it into your get response account. So now when someone opts in on certain capture pages or campaigns that you're using, they'll get those series of emails over, you know, over and over for a period of time on autopilot. Okay. That's been a big win for us in our business by having an autoresponder guys. I'm telling you, everybody's not going to join your business on their first exposure. Fact. Most people don't even make a decision if they want to join a buyer or do whatever until after five or seven exposures. And what I mean, it might take them five to seven times to even make a decision if they, yes, I want to do that or no, I, I've decided I don't want to do that. It's going to take about five to seven times for them to even make a decision to even jump. I mean, think about it. How long did it take you to join your business? How long did it take you to make a decision to do or buy or whatever? It, sometimes it just takes you a while. That's what those messages are. I've signed up, me and my wife have done amazing things by people that have bought or purchased something or joined on email 15 or whatever, right? You see what I'm saying? So it, it, you know, people, a lot of times if they don't join now, they say no, a lot of times it just means not right now, okay? Maybe later on down the road, maybe a week from now, maybe later on this month or whatever. That's what these emails represent. Okay, so now once you've got those in into your destination field section, what you want to do is just go ahead and save it. Just make sure you just go ahead and save it. Once you save it, 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 it will actually save in your system. And then next what we want to do is go to messages. We want to, we want to confirm that the messages have actually been created into our get response account. So you click on get you click on messages. When you click on messages, it's going to bring down that drop down field again. And from there, you want to just click on right where it says manage autoresponder. And when you click on that, it's going to actually bring up this page right here. Now, if you look up here, you want to make sure that you're on the right campaign, because if you got multiple campaigns, it'll only show the emails that are represented in that, that particular campaign. So I'm in the right campaign right here, mybizleadsnow.com. So it tells me that I have all these messages that are connected to my, you know, my campaign that I created. So I'm good. So it tells me, and guess what? I didn't have to do anything to these messages. Now I can edit them. You can click on these messages, guys. You can change them up. Matter of fact, I recommend doing that eventually. But if you're brand new, you're just getting started, just, just use what they've already created for you. It'll just make things a whole lot easier for you. Okay. So just keep it, keep it like that and you'll be good. So, so again, that's what it looks like. That's what it should look like. If you got that right now, great. Congratulations, boom, that's set up in terms of your MLSP emails are set up. Now, one more thing that we need to do in terms of just to solidify that is this right here. Okay, what you wanna do is go ahead and click on dashboard. When you click on dashboard, it's gonna bring you right back to the main page, the dashboard page, right, which is the home page of, of your Get Response account. And what you wanna do from here is click on the campaign section or the fields again, go ahead and click on that again. Once you do that, it's going to bring down that drop down field and you want to click on right where it says predefined fields. Okay. Predefined fields. It should be the last one in that list that is shown right here. So when, once you click on that, it's going to bring up this page right here. You know, a few things that we got to do. And again, what we're, and again, I'm not going to try to explain all this right now. I just want you to do it because it's going to make a difference in what we're trying to do. And you'll find out what this is all about, you know, later on. So what you want to do from here is actually where it says predefined field name, you want to actually just put domain, just type in D O M A I N. Just type that in. Okay. Just go ahead and put domain there in that field. All right. Next where it says predefined field value, I want you to put your Miley system pro username dot biz builder mastery dot net. Okay. Because in those messages, they have a lot of, you know, you got information about, you know, MSP, about this, about that. And, and, and what we want to do is make sure that your website will be represented in those emails. Okay. And it, the system does it all automatically. That's really what we're doing. We're setting up automation. So you really don't have to go in and edit and change any of the emails. It's all, it already be set up for you to do. Okay. So remember your MLSP username. Okay. Um, whatever, it, I don't know your MLSP username. You know, your MLSP username is whatever username you use to log into your Miley system pro account. Okay. Does that make sense? So you put that 
information. That's why I have it in red right here because you put your username and then it should be your username dot bizbuildermastery.net. Does that make sense? That's what it should be. I just want to be very, very clear. Sometimes people kind of miss this step here. So whatever your username is, okay, I don't know what your username is. So just put your username right here, dot bizbuildermastery.net. Okay. Once you do that, click on that little checkbox right there and then click on add predefined field. Once you do that, it's going to show some information right there at the bottom of the page, just like it did there. Okay. And now we got one more to do. The next one I want you to, where it says predefined field name, I want you to actually type out in this field, MLSP username. Just the way that you see it right here, that's exactly what I want you to type right there. That right there. I want you to actually type in MLSP. And the only reason I'm doing it like this, guys, because I just want to be very, very clear. MLSP username. That's what I want you to type in right there. Okay, just these letters right here, all those letters, M-L-S-P-U-S-E-R-N-A-M-E. -E. I want you to type that in there. On the next field, I want you to put your, again, your MLSP username. That's why it's in the red. Reason why it's in the red, because I don't know what your username is. I don't, I don't, I don't know what your username is. You know what your username is, so make sure you put your MLSP username in that field there. Okay. And then once you do that, click on that, bo that box right there again, click on that box right there again, or click on that box and boom. Now you got two of those already set up and that's it. That's it for setting up your MLSP, you know, uh, auto responding account or uh, auto responder account within Git response. Okay. So that's it on that piece. Now in the next video, I'm going to walk you through and show you how to set up your autoresponder for your business opportunity, your primary business, whatever you're marketing, whatever, whatever you're doing. I'm going to show you how to set that up. A lot of these are pretty much the same steps, just a few minor differences, but I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. So, so with that, that's it for now. Again, pause, play, pause, play. So if you need to watch this again, go back and watch it again and you'll be set. So in the meantime, we'll see you on the next video, but before you go to the next video, Make sure you click, you know, you complete this steps, these tasks right here. Once you complete those, boom, you can go ahead and move on to the next video. Okay, guys. Hey, we'll see you on the next one.